The Milan Xiang Dansong is a heady, fragrant, and deliciously sweet and spiced Dansong Oolong, but to brew it right, we just have to follow a few basic directions. First, we are going to use five grams of leaf, just so you can get an idea of what that looks like. This is exactly five grams. Uh, if we're going to be brewing Chinese style, which I highly recommend, you, uh, you're going to want a gaiwan, a glass pitcher for catching water, and small cups. Don't worry if you don't have the equipment. I'll show you in just a second how you can do Chinese style brewing without this stuff. But first, we're going to take the leaf, dump that in. That looks like a lot of leaf right there. You can see it fills the entire gaiwan. Um, don't be afraid. If you brew like this, you just have to do very quick steeps and you'll be fine. So before you pour, make sure that you're ready to go with a strainer of some kind over the pitcher. The first steeping is a wash. So I have a water boiler that is dispensing water at boiling right here. Uh, I'm going to pour it along the edges of the gaiwan. This introduces the water slowly and stops the tea leaves from getting burnt. Place the top on, place the cover of the gaiwan onto the gaiwan and immediately pour out. This is a wash. The faster you can get the tea out of the gaiwan and into your pitcher, the better you'll be. You don't want to let the wash steep because we're going to throw it away. If you want, you can warm up the cups. Uh, warming the cups just helps you have more control over the final temperature. If you don't heat your teawares, they act sort of like an ice cube and cool things down when you're brewing. Pour everything out. Take your cover off. If you have a pitcher style water boiler, you can pour directly from the boiler into your gaiwan. Otherwise, use a glass pitcher. Pour in a circle, dump any extra water, immediately place the strainer on, replace the lid, and pour. Now, if you notice, that was about three seconds of steeping, three to four seconds. Any longer than that, um, then you're going to get less than optimal results. This tea I'd recommend steeping at least 15 to 16 times Chinese style, doing the three second steep and five grams of leaf. Now, if you don't have the equipment, you can use a, a teacup and a saucer if you want. I will show you what we're gonna do here. I've got a brew basket that has also five grams of leaf. I'm going to place it into my cup, and if you have a water boiler, pour the water right over the cup. I'm actually going to dispense the water from my Zoji Rushi boiler into the cup, which I'm filling about halfway, if you can see that. Um, I took the leaves out immediately. I'm going to pour those out, replace the basket dispensing the water at boiling onto the leaves about halfway up the cup. One, two, three. Take the basket out and you're ready to drink. Um, steeping like this, I'd also recommend doing at least 15 steeps. If the tea is light to taste, increase steep time as you continue to brew. Uh, but it's always best to start off with short, light steepings and build and build over time. Enjoy!